Hi everyone, um, so back with week 42 and this is the 16th of October to the 22nd of October. Um, the majority of the week we're actually in Budapest, so that's what you'll see most of this week. Um, because we actually travelled down to London Stansted on the Sunday and then we flew from there on the Monday. So um, yeah, we were there for four nights, so Monday to Friday basically. And yeah, it was so, so good. We had such good weather and it was just amazing. We've never been to Budapest before, so it was a new country for us and a new sort of city. So yeah, we really enjoyed it. And it was nice to go in October. Um, the weather wasn't, you know, it wasn't hot and sticky, but it was, you know, crisp mornings and nice blue skies and stuff. So yeah, it was really nice. So I'm using the back part of Design F. Um, so obviously I had quite a few photos from the trip and I've said before, I struggle sometimes to pick which photos to actually use because I have so many. Um, I think I printed off about 140 photos for Budapest to do my travel album with. Um, so for my project life, I like to just print off at least seven, obviously if one for each sort of day. Um, but obviously with this particular layout uh, pocket page, there is quite a few pockets. So obviously I can print out a few more. But for this week, I'm using the Time to Travel by Photoplay because it was a little bit more autumnal and, you know, the greens and the browns in it, I thought, matched the time of, time of year quite well. And because it was more of like a city break, it wasn't like beach orientated, which a lot of the travel collections can be about. Um, so this was quite nice just to have a bit of a different sort of travel themed one for it. Um, so, yeah. I've sort of lined up all my photos on here to see which ones I wanted and obviously it's a bit confusing because it's obviously got the back side of that Halloween paper so that's why there's a lot of, lot of things going on the layout at the moment but obviously as I fill up it will look more travelly than Halloween-y. Um, so the first photo that's going to go in the first pocket, obviously the first pocket will be my title card um, but the second card is just going to be of the airport so we stayed at the Radisson Hotel at London Stansted which obviously is nowhere near us we had to travel down it was a bit of a trek we've never flown from London Stansted before um, but we got there and we stayed in a really nice hotel and it was right with a like on the runway basically we had a runway view um, which was really cool so yeah so all I did with that one I just backed it on some paper I'm using this like map paper from the works it was two pound but it's like almost like vintagey style maps and it's greeny and brown and stuff so it matched the um you know the colors of this collection and stuff so i'm using that one so i just backed it on some of that paper um and just use the time to travel sticker at the top because obviously we were traveling that day so that felt quite nice so the washi tape that i'm using is just like this plain green one it's it's very uh clear like you can see through it sort of thing so um, it's quite nice because it, it matches the green in this collection as well. So that was good. So the only 6x4 photo that I use on this layout is um, the one that I found of the sign of Budapest. Now this was actually probably well into our trip. This wasn't the first day at all. So sometimes I do rearrange the photos obviously just where they look good. Um, but I needed a 6x4 photo and thought this was quite nice because obviously it's it reminds me that we was in Budapest this week. Um, so um, I just used that and I used really simple sort of embellishments with just some washi tape at the top, this large red heart, and then just a word sticker that says, let's go. So I'm really excited to start using this collection. This is um, a collection from Photoplay that sort of came out after the pandemic. So it's got a lot of stuff that hints at people getting back into traveling and stuff, which I think is quite cute. Um, so yeah, it just reminds me of this year, like we've had a lot of holidays this year and it has been actually quite chaotic, um, but it's because we didn't have a holiday for nearly two years and stuff. So we made the most of it and these sort of cards go, you know, really well with that sort of um, thought process. So I'm, I'm talking way too much. I'm not even talking about the layer. So the first photo underneath the title card is of our apartment. We stayed in this really, really cute apartment, um, really local um you know close to everything and it was just really cool we had like this little top bunk uh where you can see like the stained glass window that was where our bed was like you had to go up little stairs and stuff it was just so cool and obviously you'll see it in my travel album when i come around to doing it but i just put some washi tape on the bottom alongside this like suitcase that's open which is really cute and then i used a filler card next to that with just like pack your bags and stuff because obviously that was us sort of arriving and 
traveling and stuff and then the photo next to that is a picture of me at the fisherman's bastion um which is obviously one of the key landmarks in budapest and it had a really nice view so that was me just um sitting on the wall on that area um so again some washi tape at the bottom this cute little postage stamp that says go travel and then some little sunglasses at the top because as i said it was really really good weather uh blue skies and it wasn't cold um but it wasn't hot either which was just nice to have um they did actually have a journaling card for once which i love i love using journaling cards and it had this one it said let's explore and it's also got a little place that i can put budapest and then also instead of putting like a list i think that's like there's a lot of boxes to tick and stuff i just put my journaling on there as if in a paragraph rather than like tick checklists and stuff like that so the thing i'm using to actually like glue and stuff is using this little roller um glue thing and I say it so many times, I'm not buying them again. Um, they're only from Poundland, but they're only, as I said, a pound. Um, but they literally last. This last, that lasted me, like, this layout and half my next one. And that was it. Like, it, it runs out so quickly. So I don't know if it's even worth a pound, to be honest. But it is very, very handy. I have thought about getting an ATG gun or, you know, something a bit more that you can refill and stuff. But, yeah, it's just actually getting around to actually thinking about whether it's going to save me money and hassle and stuff. So we shall see. Anyway, so the next card that's going to go underneath the apartment photo is just a filler card that just says, you know, so much to discover in this city and say new to say yes to new adventures. It probably was supposed to probably cut that in half or, you know, but I just thought it looked quite nice together. Um, and obviously I wanted to make a keeper three by four card because it's not that many in this these collections. Um, it's only one page of cut aparts. So the photo next to that is a picture of Joe on the tram. So one of the most famous parts of Budapest is the tram um number two so uh we went on that one I just put a little sticker at the bottom says epic destination a love heart and then the last photo is a picture of me outside the apartment building obviously it's a very very uh, popular place and I just put a little sticker that says check this out uh the card in between those is just a nice one that says oh travel how I missed you and as I said that's because obviously it's like a pre a post-pandemic collection so again it matched it really nicely so for my title card I'm just going to use some of the paper from the little sticker sheet um not sticker sheet what am I talking about little uh, paper from the little paper pad that I mentioned from the works it's just like vintage maps and old style paper um and I just put a little globe sticker at the bottom and I'm just off to find my red alpha stickers and I'm just going to write week 42 on there and that's pretty much all I do for this one as I said a, a full travel album will be coming um for Budapest at some point um but yeah it's just nice to obviously I you know include it in my project life and that you know this is what we did that week of that year and stuff so one day um it'll be nice to flick through them and see all the different destinations that we've been to and you know I just I love it I love it so much and I'm really looking forward to starting 2023 project life as well I haven't even finished this year's but you know you know when it's just nice to restart a project and do it again so now I know what I'm doing with project life um you know I've done my first year um you know I'm looking forward to doing every year from then on so yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll be back with the second part um shortly again we're still in Budapest so a few more bits and pieces from there um so I hope you've enjoyed this little travel break from the Halloween collections but we will be back to Halloween after this week um but yeah I'm just going to stick some little dots in the middle of the weeks, uh, in the middle of the days, just because it makes up a little bit. Um, and I always forget to do that, to be honest. Um, sometimes I just don't do anything in between the days and it looks a bit bare. So I wanted to make sure I put those in there. So yeah, thank you very much and I will see you shortly. Bye.